so far I've woven just plain weave in the center and you can see that I used a thinner cord for weaving in the center where the spaces are much closer together. This is really the only way that weaving in the middle is going to work. And what my goal was, was to weave, making sure that it's like over, under, over, under the whole time, and that when I'm finished, I have a circle in the middle that's about 20% of my weaving. So since I've done all these things, I'm now going to switch to a different type of yarn because the spaces are getting a little bit bigger, not huge, but slightly. So I'm gonna add a new piece of yarn. I could keep weaving with this color if I wanted to, but I don't want to. So I'm going to add a new piece. And I'm just tying a shoelace knot just like I did before. I'm not worrying about how long the knot piece is to start. That's a pretty long tail on it. I'm gonna cut this off just a little bit. I'm not worrying about how long that is because I'm gonna just make sure that it ends up on the back, which, uh, let's see, looks like there's maybe another knot on the back, so I'll try to keep it on the other side. And um, for right now, that's gonna help me so that it doesn't loosen up or let go. I'm even going to, I'm noticing that when I pull on it, it does slide just a little bit. So I'm actually gonna go back and tie it one more time just to be safe. Okay, now it's stationary and not going anywhere. Finding the end of my yarn. I'm gonna put it in the hot dog bun. Okay, <clears throat> so I can see that I stopped under this warp thread. And if I was doing plain weave, I would just start over the next one, right? To do twill weave, it's a little bit different. I'm going to go over two, under one. So it's a slightly different pattern. I'm going over these next two and under one. And I do think it's easier to weave in these like more wide apart places um, and then just pull it into the center as I keep working over that one. So I'm gonna go over two, under one. You think I did this because I'm making a video, but it just actually really happened. So I'm noticing that these are matching up now, and that was the tip off that I had done something wrong. So when I start to trace it back, I can see that right here, I went over, 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 and that is not what I was trying to do. So I'm gonna backtrack the spot where I made my mistake. I'm going to fix it. And then as I keep going, it'll be right. You can see I have a few more rows on here and now you can really see the spiral, right? So I went under this one, 
then you can see how I went under that one. I hope you can see this. I think as you keep going, it does become easier to see the pattern develop correctly over time. So I went under that one, and now I'm under this one. So I know I'm going right. 